Well, we're moving along. Uh, we're insulating the tank today and hopefully getting that rubber liner in. So stay tuned. And if you like these videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Now, as you can see, we have one layer of foam board on the walls all the way around us. Now, this is two inch polyisocyanurate foam. Uh, so this has an R value of about seven per inch. So this is an R value of 14 on the walls right now. And I'm gonna add another layer. So the walls will wind up being an R28 total. One edge, I got 24 inches. And then I just press the tip of the tape measure in. And then on the other edge is gonna be 23 inches. Press that in. I can use a straight edge and the uh, more a knife. This knife is my favorite tool for cutting the foam board and I'm going to leave a affiliate link in the description below if you want to pick one up for yourself. So now to hold these temporarily in place, I'm just going to cut a bit of tape here. And I like this uh, Protecto Wrap brand super stick tape for this application. The foil face on this stuff, this foil face here, seems to have some kind of residue on it from the factory. And I have a hard time getting regular foil tapes to stick, even HVAC foil tapes. So I tend to really like this one. <laughs> it gets harder and harder to climb in with every layer of foam. <laughs> Take another for this corner here. I'm used to taping seams in the foam board. It has to come towards me. See how mine is all the way butted up to over mine on my side? I'm using the same words. Good. Out in the garage, I marked this with chalk line, and this is the center mark of this edge. I'll hold it in place temporarily. Just with some duct tape. <coughs> side of it. And, yep. So, we have a fairly smooth bottom now, which is great. Um, Well, the liner's in place. Uh, this is an EPDM rubber liner. It's sold as either a pond liner or you can buy it as a flat roofing membrane. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below, it's an affiliate link, uh, to the membrane that I bought from Amazon. This was a 10 by 15 foot piece. Um, I used uh, a 10 by 10 section for this, uh, for this tank and the other five by 10 section we're gonna be using for the lid 
uh, which will be in a future upcoming video. If you like these videos, please uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know if you have any questions about the project, anything I didn't cover. Um, I do read all those and respond.